Hey, Bubba, you still awake? Yeah, I can never sleep in my fighting. Are you? I think so. What do you think this is fighting about now? I don't know. Something about money or something, kid. Shut up, Daisy. He'll hear us. Hey, Bubba, you want to play a game? Should we? Daddy told us we're not supposed to do anything without asking him first. He's already mad. I don't want him to yell at us now. But Daddy doesn't know what hurt him. Come on, we'll just play a quick game and go fish. We don't have any cards. Daddy took them and said he was using them for playing cards with his friend. Where did you get that? If Daddy finds out, he's going to whoop you harder than you've ever been whooped. Like I said, he doesn't know we have them. We? I didn't take them. I didn't take them. I just borrowed them. You're going to give them back, right? I promise. Pinky? Pinky. That's what happened when you call the cops. Now we know. Shall we? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He almost came in. Mama's not here to save us like she always does. He'd really get to us then, and he'd be hurt fat, like her. We're lucky he didn't already come in. Let's just go to sleep. What's life without a little fun? It's okay. Everything is going to be okay. Come on, let's play. One game. Okay, one game. Where did you get that? Don't worry about it. <clears throat> um, got any twos? Go fish. Shut up. <laughs> got any sevens? You always win. Why don't you ever let me win? Oh, shut up and quit being a baby. No, I don't want to play. We're not supposed to be playing and you always win. What's the point of me even trying? Hey, don't throw your cards at me and don't be mad that you're bad and I'm good. Come on, David, it's just a joke. Let's play. No, you talk to me. Mommy? Like the girls kind of love. Like the dialogue. You're supposed to love you're supposed to have for your wife? <clears throat> Boy, I can't wait till I get a girl like Mommy. I'll buy her flowers and never make her cry. Give her hugs every day. And then we'll have a hundred kids, and they'll all love me. None of them will be scared of me. And they'll be allowed to have fun, and I'll buy them stuff. Boy, I can't wait. I don't think he does. You don't think he does what? Loves mommy. How could daddy love mommy? He's mean to her and always calls her mean names. Maybe he does. Maybe that's what love is. What if he hits her because he loves her? That would make sense. Then he must love her a lot. Like the way that you love your future wife. Or maybe, maybe he does hate her. Like he says when they fight. I know he hates us because we eat his chips and drink his milk. That's why he hurts mommy, because we get in the way. Sorry, bastards wants to talk. You'll both get blown. <coughs> How dare you? How dare you steal from me? I gave you liar! God forbid. 
forbid you disobey me. Your mommy disobeyed me too. That's why she knows to stay away when I'm disappointing my kids! Stop! Please! I beg you, please stop! Stop? They disobeyed, and now they're being punished. My father whooped me when I was their age, and I grew up to be a good man. Man? You call yourself a man? Putting your hands on women and showing them it's you a man? What did you just say to me? I'm the man that's beating you, aren't I? You're lucky you're still breathing. Hit me. Fine. I make my own decisions. But I'll be damned if you lay a finger on my kids! How dare you disrespect me like that? Oh, you're gonna learn. You really took your youth now! Stop! Debbie, stop. Just 
Did you follow me all the way home? You dropped your glove. You followed me to give me a glove. Well... Thanks! Oh no, it's no problem. By the way, my name is Jeffrey Vanderwolf. Elizabeth Rose. Nice to meet you, Elizabeth. You as well. Good night, Jeffrey! Wait! Um, would you like to maybe go get some coffee together? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. I'll pick you up tomorrow, though. <laughs> I had a lot of money. Me too. I can't believe I never noticed the bookstore across the street from the cafe. Glad you showed me. Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's a roller coaster of emotions. You'll love it. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's getting dark out. Indeed, it is. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Um, me, me too. All right. Yeah. I'll see you. <laughs> yeah. Joffrey, wait. Something is wrong. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? I know, I know, but I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Stop lying to me, please. I'm here for you. I'm scared. Why? Did something happen? Did somebody hurt you? No, no, no. Then what are you scared of, sweetie? You? <laughs> me? Why? I'm scared you'll hurt me. Why would you think that? Because that's exactly what my last boyfriend did. He said all the same things, and in the end, he still left. I left him so much job for you. I can't stand the idea of you changing your mind about me, too. I would never do that. He said the same thing. Well, luckily, I'm not him. I'm your loyal Prince Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs>
three boxes for all of your hand down stuff. The books, the action figures, and the DVDs all need separate boxes. And why is that? Because I don't want them to get jealous of each other. <laughs> Sweetheart, you do realize they don't have feelings, right? Look, I know you think that, but you wouldn't understand. Once I make you watch every episode and read every book, you'll understand. Okay, whatever you say. Although I do have one condition. You have to watch Gossip Girl with me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anything for you, honey.
nervous? Yeah, I am, but I know that whatever happened in that room was meant to be. It's out of my control. I just... I just don't want to lose you. You're my best friend. I know you're in pain, but could it be something else? Marie, with as much pain as I'm in, there is no doubt I am no longer in remission. I know this pain. I've known it my entire life. Is it really that bad? The worst pain I've ever been in. Worse than the first time. I was just hoping that maybe it could be I know, but I can't let you get your hopes up. Remember the day we met? How could I forget? Asking a lot. Just had to give us some time. 
Mom, Dad, Marie's being transferred to a new foster house. It's in Wisconsin. That's four states away. I'm sorry, but what can we do? Friends come and go, sweetheart. Mom, you don't understand. This is more than just friends coming and go. I think we do understand. Dad, no. Just stop. I'm asking you, begging you to adopt him, because this might be my last chance to make an impact on the world. You don't know how long I'm be with him. Do either of you see what our family has become? We're not a family anymore. Mom, don't give me that look. When was the last time we ate dinner together? What about the last time that we had family over for the holidays? It's been three years since I went to home. Why can't we start being a family again? Me getting cancer ruined this family, and I'm tired of having to with it. Marie makes you both smile and laugh. And with her around, you both feel like my parents again, instead of the people who come out of this. You, you really feel that way? Yes, and I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to save someone again, or even make a difference. I don't know what to say. I think I speak for both your mother and I when I say an argument like that is hard to beat. When did you grow up? Just remember, Savvy, life's not about the things you do, it's how you feel about what you've done. Are you sure you want this? Progressively got worse. I just. I just don't understand. Honestly, I don't either. I thought I had more time. I knew it wouldn't last, but I thought I'd be able to graduate or get married before. Sabine, please don't talk that way. It's going to be okay, right? Marie, don't! Sabine, you have to have hope. I have to have hope. I don't know how to beat myself without you. You were the person who gave me a life. I can't lose you. No, Marie. You were the one who gave me life. You saw the best of me when nobody else could. Months for it to get approved. If you want this, that is. 
they've been thinking about this for a while now, and it's the end of sophomore year. I've known you for three years, and I don't want you to be a monster here anymore. You deserve a nice home. And if the paperwork gets through fast enough, you could be living with us in as little as three weeks. I don't know what to say. Is this real? Yes, Grant. This is real. We want you to be a part of our family more than anything else in the world. We even want you to consider changing your last name from Stevens to Alexander. I mean, that is, if if you were... Marie, are you okay? Yeah, just having a hard time grasping all of this. You don't have to make a decision right away, but we really want you to be a part of our family. Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> I would love to. There's no way I could ever say no to <laughs> she was life's unexpected gift for this family.